prepare to have your mind blown because the next thing that comes up, yes, in this color, flowering plants, a.k.a. angiosperms. Now we've got flowers, you guys. So what? What's the point of a flower? Well, here's the scoop. The flowers are a strategy to enable, basically, to take advantage of unsuspecting young and vulnerable little animals. Gymnosperms, the conifers, they were around, like, during dinosaur times. So they were the dinosaurs and the gymnosperms that kind of ruled the earth together. And then dinosaurs, you know, they had some issues. Things got a little sketchy for them. And conifers, you know, the, the environment changed. Stuff happened. And, and there was a little bit of room made for mammals, and then here we came, and flowering plants. And I'll tell you right now, flowering plants, there was this boom of coevolution where a flowering plant would come up with a strategy like this thing. This is actually looks like a female wasp, and the male wasps come over to this thing, and they're like, oh, man, look at this honey. She's such a hottie. Let's make some babies, honey. And then they try to make babies and get pollen all over them and then go, dude, did I get any kids out of that? I don't think so. I better go try somebody else and go try another flower and makes babies all over it and gets pollen all over it and drops more pollen off. Fantastic strategy. Here's another. I mean, flowers really, it, it's, it's pretty awesome. Sometimes flowers give food in exchange. Sometimes the pollinator actually gets something out of the mix. Other times it's a total lie, like this little female wasp strategy. There's a flower in like, I don't know where it is, but it smells like dead, rotting meat. It doesn't smell yummy like delicious nectar. Come over here and eat some of this. It smells like rotting flesh. And guess who's like, oh, man, this is a great day. Look at this entire dead cow I just found. Yeah, the flies. The flies come over and they're like, this is a jackpot. And they go in and get covered in pollen and realize, what, what is this thing? Why isn't there any dead cow food here? This sucks. And they leave and get sucked in by some other dead cow smelling flower and spread the pollen all over the place. Flowers are pretty sneaky. The point is just to have additional strategies for combining pollen with seeds. We still have the exact same alternation of generations, the exact same baby gametophytes and baby sporophytes being born inside that seed in that same way, but we just have a different strategy for getting a hold of things. Grasses are flowers, which is kind of odd. Grasses have and some flowers do maintain wind pollination. Grasses are one of them. It would be very interesting to kind of try and dissect a grass and see if you can identify different flower parts. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Really fun, huh? Okay, let's talk about fungi next because they are also really interesting.